execution on the donkey of the day is something to behold. Is it a read? He gave me donkey of the day and I deserve it. People need to know. Well, need... you need to tell them. Sure. I am. you have the voice. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. It's time for donkey of the day. It's a read, <laughs> but you're so good at it. You're trying to be a fake-ass Charlemagne. There's only one Charlemagne in the world. Damn, Charlemagne. Who you give a donkey of the day to now? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ah, I was parched, had to get a drink of water. Uh, donkey of the day for Wednesday, January 31st. My God, it's only the 31st? <laughs> Why does it feel like January was two months? Man, I felt every single one of those 31 days. Lord have mercy. Uh, but donkey of the day for January 31st goes to Bertel Johnson, okay? Bertel is a young man from Chicago, and he's the latest victim of the false reality that is social media. I've gotten on this radio for years. And said the things you do uh, online will absolutely get you jammed up offline. And I don't understand for the life of me why people care more about what social media thinks. I don't understand why they care more about what social media believes than they do about what actually happens to them in real life. See, Bertel is a convicted felon who is free on electronic monitoring. Well, he was free on elect electronic monitoring awaiting trial on murder and attempted murder charges now anybody with a bump of common sense when i say a bump i'm talking a bump just to hit a common sense i'm talking a bump of common sense that can be administered by dipping the tip of a car a house key into the common sense and just inhaling it all right just a little bit of common sense on your fingernails can be used to take that bump, okay? A bump of common sense, a bump is such a small amount, but that little bit of common sense goes a long way. And that's all Bertel needed, just a bump of common sense to keep him out of the situation he is currently in. See, as I told you, Bertel is a convicted felon who has been free on electronic monitoring, awaiting trial on murder and attempted murder charges. So if you were awaiting trial, for killing somebody, mm -hmm. you probably should try to show the courts, you know, that you aren't that type of person. Mm -hmm. right? But this is 2024, and people are who they are, and they couldn't, you know, uh, hide themselves if they tried. See, Bertel is back behind bars right now because of a startling discovery that was made inside his Chicago home. I use the word startling discovery because that's the wording the article used. But in light of what made the police go to his house in the first place, there is nothing startling about this discovery. See, earlier this month, the Cook County Sheriff's Office says investigators found multiple guns, ammunition, and suspected narcotics inside his house after he posted photos on social media of himself carrying a semi-automatic rifle and a handgun modified with a switch that turns the weapon fully automatic. I can't make this kind of stuff up. Let's go to Fox 32 for the report. Please. A convicted felon who is on electronic monitoring awaiting trial now facing more charges tonight. Bertel Johnson has been out on bond since 2021, charged with first degree murder and first degree attempted murder. Earlier this month, the Cook County Sheriff's Office says investigators found multiple guns, ammunition, and suspected narcotics in his home. Now, I'm not the highest grade of weed in the dispensary. Never have been. Never claim to be. I just feel like, you know, if you're on house arrest for murder and you posting pics of you carrying semi-automatic rifles and handguns, if you're on electronic monitoring for murder, let me give you a list of things you should be posting on social media instead of guns. Number one, yard work. Okay, I want to see you cutting grass, trimming some hedges, picking trash, loose garbage out of people's yards. Actually, you in Chicago, I want to see you shoveling some snow for some old people. Okay, go shovel some driveways. Okay, mm -hmm. get some of that snow off the steps. All right, post some pictures of you reading Bible scriptures, reading the Quran. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, post some pictures of you and your local pastor. All right, go donate some blood. Post that's go donate some blood. Post some pictures of that. All right, with funny captions like Magic Johnson could never. Just show me pictures and videos of you being proactively helpful. Man. Okay, you are on electronic monitoring for murder and attempted murder. These people already think you a monster. All right, the last thing you should be showing them is that you still have guns, and not just guns, an assault rifle, three handguns, including one with a defaced serial number and an auto switch attached, one high capacity 50 round drum magazine, an extended 9mm magazine, two empty 9mm magazines, nearly 150 live rounds of ammunition of various calibers, 16 grams of suspected cocaine, approximately 300 grams of suspected weed, 78 oxycodone pills, and 4,000 in cash. He got caught with all of that while being on electronic monitoring for murder. Oh, yeah. The white man got some shelter for you now. The white man got housing for Negroes like yourself. The white man sees situations like this and starts rubbing his hands together and licking his lips like, yeah, we got another one. And I just don't understand the mentality, the logic on why Bertel would you feel the need to showcase any of this on social media? 
I truly believe we have celebrated this type of dysfunction for so long, normalized it for so long, that these Negroes think they really got a career. They show this type of behavior off like they want to be the Dr. Miami of goons. Okay, Dr. Miami shows off his work in the form of BBLs and breast augmentations and liposuction. So Bertel is like, let me show you my work in the form of all these damn guns and all these damn drugs. Yeah, we see you. Okay, we see you use this rifle. This this is the this is the semi-automatic rifle that I use to kill ops over there. This is the handgun I use to shoot at ops over yonder. And we did it while high on these drugs, right here. Okay, I tell you, destiny is not a matter of choice. <laughs> it's a matter, it's not a matter of chance, it's a matter of choice. Okay, nobody is destined to be a career criminal at 30 years old. Let me repeat, destiny is not a matter of chance, it's a matter of choice. Nobody is destined to be a career criminal at 30 years old. But when you make as many poor criminal choices as Bertel has made, when you choose this life of crime, you are guaranteed to end up the white man's tenant forever. Please give Bertel Johnson the biggest he are. <laughs> Matter of fact, let Remy Ma give Bertel Johnson the biggest he are. He haw, he haw. You stupid motherfucker. Are you dumb? Yes. Yes, yes, he is, Remy. Yes, he is. Damn. Mm -hmm. So sad. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today, sir. Yes, indeed. There's, I already said Negro. There's no need yeah, to play. No. There's no need. I was to, hoping you absolutely didn't. no need. Because I, I mean, you said the white man's gym, the white man. Then you said this Negro. I mean, I was <laughs> hoping you wouldn't. So I could no, play no, a game. No, there's no need to play throw a people game. off. It's, look, hold on, damn! I just had it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ain't no goddamn. Hold on, hold on. Oh, you got his picture? No, the, the, damn! Let I me keep see his picture. Him. Now, come on now. Let, let me see. see. Come on now. Typical Chicago. <laughs> down, down, down. <laughs> He like he look like all the keeps. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> like all the keeps. <laughs> he do look. It's perfect. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. I'm sure he had a ski mask before he took Come that on mug now. shot. Oh, definitely, they had to tell him to take it off to take the mug, <laughs> do the mug shot. God, all right. he definitely had to pull shy steel. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today. Donkey today is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to MichaelTheBull.com. That's MichaelTheBull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.